The Sovereign Prince family of Monaco attend a theater performance in Monte Carlo. Members of the Belgian royal family visit the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands visits the Rose Academy in Den Haag. Again, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Haakon of Norway attended the opening of the second edition of the Warmer, Wetter, Wilder Climate Festival held at the Culture House. In Stockholm, the Marshal of the Realm of Sweden and the Chief of the Royal Court of Sweden, Mr. Frederick Versal, confirmed that Their Majesties King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden are enjoying a romantic private holiday in the Seychelles. In a letter sent to the Ministry of Justice, Mr. Versal noted that Their Majesties left Stockholm on Sunday and will return on March 23, 2023. Speaking of romance, His Royal Highness Prince Constantine Alexios of Greece took to social media yesterday to share a photo of his new love, Miss Poppy Delavine, sipping on fresh coconut juice with a pomeria next to her straw. Yeah, it's a slow news day. <laughs> In Madrid, their Majesties King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia of Spain presided over the 10th edition of the Embajadores Honorarios de la Marca España, an initiative of the leading brands of Spain Forum, held at Palacio Real de El Pardo. Launched in 2005 by the leading brands of Spain Forum, the Spain Brand Honorary Ambassadors Accreditation aims to, quote, publicly recognize individuals, companies, or institutions that have contributed through their exemplary professional careers, strengthening a positive image of Spain abroad, end quote. The new honorary ambassadors of the Spain brand are in business management, Mr. Jose Manuel Andre Canales, in social action, Mr. Luis Rojas Marcos, in arts and culture, Ms. Patricia Yerquela, in tourism and gastronomy, Ms. Carmen Rio, in sports, Ms. Teresa Barrales, and in science and innovation, Ms. Bagonia Villa. In Den Haag, Her Majesty Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, accompanied by the State Secretary for Culture and Media of the Netherlands, visited the Rose Academy. Established in 2014, the Rose Academy, a division of Rose Stories, discovers and nurtures talented multicultural creators filmmakers, artists, and authors, as well as provides a, quote, safe space for creators. The Rose Academy offers new creators an artistic community to lean on and fall back on. As a safe haven and creative breeding ground, the Rose Academy offers a space for the development of new sounds, and we support creators in their process. From concept to script to filming to web series, theater performances, book, or a presentation during an art exhibition, end quote. During today's visit, Her Majesty the Queen met with young filmmakers who presented their short films and spoke about their experience at the Rose Academy Film School, where creators received support from professional coaches. Her Majesty also visited the Writer's Room, a place where young, talented screenwriters are guided through the process and are given an opportunity to pitch their works to various Dutch production companies, talent agencies looking for new writers, and studios. Thereafter, Her Majesty the Queen met with creators participating in the Generation Inclusion Program. The GIP, which is a part of the Rose Academy Development Branch, is a six-month talent program for individuals who want to have a serious professional career in the film and television industry. GIP creators informed Her Majesty the Queen about the challenges they encounter as, quote, new filmmakers, writers, etc., with a multicultural background, end quote. The visit ended with Her Majesty the Queen meeting with Rose Academy coaches as well as with seasoned producers and representatives from the Dutch film and television industry. Meanwhile, Her Majesty Queen Mathilde of the Belgians and Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth of Belgium, Duchess of Brabant, continued their three-day official visit to Egypt. Last evening, Her Majesty the Queen and the Princess arrived in Luxor, where they spent the night at the same hotel 
where Queen Elizabeth stayed during one of her many visits to Egypt. Today, Her Majesty the Queen and the Princess were given a private guided tour of various archaeological sites in Upper Egypt with their host, Professor Bavy from the Université Libre de Bruxelles and Dr. Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities of Egypt. The day began in El Kab with a visit to the Temple of Amenhotep III, located between Luxor and Aswan, on the east bank of the River Nile in Upper Egypt, with their guide, Professor Bavi. The temple is dedicated to the goddess Nechbet and the goddess Hathor, the goddess of love, mirth, sun, and sky. She is also the mother of the Egyptian god Horus. The Egyptian goddess of Nechbet is a goddess of childbirth and the patroness of El Kab and of the pharaohs. Soon, Her Majesty, the Princess, and Professor Baby, along with a large Belgian press corps in tow, arrived at the Valley of the Kings, where they viewed the tomb of the 18th dynasty king, Tutankhamun. During their visit, Dr. Waziri explained the history of the tomb and the story of its discovery by British archaeologist and Egyptologist Howard Carter on November 4, 1922. The official opening of the tomb happened on February 16, 1923, with Queen Elizabeth of the Belgians attending the official opening. The day ended in the golden city of Luxor, where the trio and the press corps met with celebrity Egyptologist and reality television star from the hit show Chasing Mummies and the former Minister of the State for Antiquities Affairs of Egypt, Dr. Zahi Hawass. In Monte Carlo, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco visited the Institut Audiovisuel de Monaco this afternoon. The purpose of the Sovereign Prince's visit was to learn more about the, quote, history of amateur cinema and filmmakers in Monaco, end quote. And finally, last evening in Monacoville, the Palais Princière released a photo of Their Serene Highnesses Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene of Monaco and their children, His Highness Hereditary Prince Jacques of Monaco and Her Serene Highness Princess Gabriella of Monaco on the occasion of the Sovereign Prince's 65th birthday. According to a press release, Hereditary Prince Jacques and Princess Gabriella, quote, invited their parents to a special theater performance of The Witch in the Broom Closet as a birthday present for their father, end quote. Held at the Théâtre des Muses, the Witch in the Broom Closet play was directed by Ms. Anthea Sagno and performed by her troupe of actors. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Thursday, March 16th, I think it is. Yeah, it's the 16th. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, I will be back with all the latest royal news tomorrow. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful evening and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.